I'm going to give you three reasons why Timepiece Gentleman's business was always a scam and was doomed to fail. So if you're in business with someone who has these three traits, watch out. Number one, excessive spending. Number two, hand delivering watches. And number three, infinite amount of scams, side hustles, and social media stunts. Let's talk about the first one, the excessive amount of spending. That was probably the biggest red flag. You could see right away that this guy was spending money on toys, food, hotels, vacations, and never mind all the people he took along with him. You look at his videos on all you see is G-Wagons, Lamborghinis, Ducatis, you see him eating steaks out at Sam's, um, you see him flying private, you see, you see him taking a whole team with him, wearing these Louis Vuitton backpacks, it's, it was just someone who's in business for that short amount of time, having that amount of money to spend, and your red flags have to be going off and you have to question yourself, where is the money coming from? Never mind all the fuel that's required to like have fun with these toys. Um, when you're going on vacations, never mind the breakfast and the lunch. And on top of that, paying for all these employees and their lunches and dinners, it quickly adds up. You have to definitely question yourself when you're making a thousand dollars a watch, how does it even make sense to fly, pri to fly private or in first class? Now, Anthony's gonna tell you that all this was done for marketing purposes, because marketing will bring in new clients and people will see his cars and they'll question it and they'll wanna check out the store, they'll wanna check out his Instagram page. But it's really, really hard to quantify marketing when you're buying a Lamborghini and putting a sticker on it. It's really hard to quantify how much money are you actually bringing in because of that marketing stunt. So that's reason number one. I, I thought it was just a complete scam and this business could not be trusted. And now let's move on to number two, and that is hand delivering watches. Now, when you're hand delivering watches, flying first class or private, it literally makes zero sense when this whole business is based on social media and a digital footprint. You have to question yourself, why the hell are you flying private, getting a hotel, paying for dinners, lunch, breakfast, to deliver a $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 watch and making 5% on it? It makes zero sense. You make five grand and you spend two and a half grand doing it. it. It really makes no sense. And you can see how it plays out now because an RM went from half a million to 150K and many dealers are suffering. And so all those profits that he then turned into expenses could have really have gone a long way during these recessionary periods. So the, the business was just doomed to fail when you have expenses that are pretty much exceeding your profit. Guys, never mind the 800,000 he spent in one month for the penthouse. You remember that episode with the interior designer? Complete waste of time and money. All right, and the last reason this business was doomed to fail is the infinite amount of scams and side hustles and side businesses that never actually materialized. For example, his coaching business where he wanted 50 grand to sign up in six months and 75 grand six months after that, and it's gonna cost 100 grand a year afterwards. And taking these young kids and their dads around New York City, showing them how to buy and sell $10,000 Rolexes, just another scam along with the social media stunts like the blackout if you recall you just turn off the phone social media page and uh, close down the offices just to say that we did charity and to prove that everyone is so dependent on social media when ironically his whole business is based on social media so that never made any sense um, and now he's selling Instagram posts. There was just never really a business there. Never clear directions. Just trying to move from one scam to another. One quick money-making scheme to another. So as you can see, this business never made any mathematical sense. It makes zero sense how you can afford all these toys, flying private, flying first class, hotels, team dinners, when the watch margins are so, so thin. Uh, the only way you can make it work is that he was just taking watches, selling them for pure profit, spending the money, and uh, now he's probably getting sued and maybe going to jail.